What is up guys? We're back with part two for the Illumina Duty build. And let me tell you, this is my favorite build of all time. This is a one of one build. There's not another one out there like that. One of one wheels, one of one everything. And I think I outdid myself on this build. I know it's been a long time in the, in the making. It's been like six months, but I think it's totally worth it. It absolutely turned out insane. And I can't wait to show you guys. So let's get right into building this thing and then going into revealing it all said and done and rolling down the road. Sit back and relax. Oh, huge announcement to this video. This is the video that I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing to the Illuma Duty, which I have kept a secret this entire time. I'm here to announce that I have ordered 26 by 14 concave super single fronts and dualies in the rear yes i am making my Illumina duty a short bed dually complete custom because they don't make these trucks a short bed dually but that being said i already got one side done we're going to show you guys this other side that way i look more professional keep it a secret but let's get into the fact that i bought a spare bed I bought a spare bed, got that for a really good deal, took the flares off, got all the mounting points and everything inside the shop. Now we're gonna cut this bedside off, use this, cause there's about 25 million holes that we have to drill into the side of that bed. And we're gonna cut this off, use it as a template, match up the body lines, clamp it onto the bedside of that truck, drill all my holes and get it lined up and mounted for the flares and then give it to the body shop. That way they can repaint them flares and match it to my bed because they're faded as hell. Even though I got a black bed, I was like, oh yeah, that'd be perfect. Don't have to paint it, maybe just buff it. No, not the case. They're faded like nothing I've seen before in my life. So let's get to cutting. Okay, that's cool. I need to draw some holes in the side of my bed. Don't mind me. I'm a trained professional, so. Oh, come loose. I told you I was a professional. because I'm sorry to let y'all know, I know I do almost all of the work to my trucks by myself or with the help of friends and my father. Uh, I do everything to my truck. So with that being said, with this build on the Illumina Duty, there's some things that I just don't have tools for. So aluminum welding is one. And secondly, uh, fiberglass. I could figure out fiberglass if I had to, but since it's going to the body shop already, I'm gonna go ahead and have them do the fiberglass part of it anyways. So that's where we're going right now, is dropping the truck off at the body shop. And we made it. As you can tell, we're at the body shop and the biggest pain in the ass about this dually swap, you can't just throw a dually bed on here because Ford doesn't make dually beds. So it's not as easy as unbolting eight bolts and throwing a bed on there and putting eight bolts back in it. Like some people can do. Uh, 
But this man just killed it on this bedside. You have to fill in the, the big ass hole right here, field door hole. And then we put a flush mount hole right here. It's, it's still wet, the primer's still wet, but they're killing it on this. It looks good. Can't even tell anything was there. It's almost like a professional did it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> Damn. With that color match, you won't ever see it. They're killing it over here. I need that thing. It needs to go in my garage. I'll tell you this right now, I am freaking stoked. I mean, I have not been as this excited in a long time. Uh, seeing the progress and seeing the main part of the bed being done is just a huge, huge step. And that was one thing that I was hating and just thinking about 24-7. Just thinking about that 24-7 and how much of a pain in the ass it was going to be. But those guys killed it. Super good freaking work that they put out from there. And I couldn't be unhappier. The wheels, they should be here. They should be shipping out today, honestly. Today or tomorrow. Today's Thursday, tomorrow Friday. He said they should be shipping out by the end of the week. And hopefully they're here by next week. If not, they'll be here the week after. So we got two more weeks of waiting. By the end of next week, the shop should be done with the truck. The body shop should be done. And then after I pick it up from them, it's full blown suspension and powder coating time. This truck's gonna be done in no time. What a beautiful sight. Not this, but that. I mean, good Lord. It's been 15 weeks and they're finally here. Disclaimer, they're not KG1. It's an awful big box though if you uh, take a little peep here. Buddy, I am absolutely excited for this. I'm pumped and now the build can be finished. Sheesh, I'm ready boy. Let's get this thing going. Another day, another dollar spent and high fuel prices. Time to go get these bad. Larry Hoover's all mounted up and watch Perfection Wheels uh, struggle to try to get those on some eight and a quarter inch wheels. That'll be fun. Don't mind me being a QT getting some food and drinks, baby. Fuck you, Joe Biden. Of course, you already know I had to come see my boys at Perfection Wheels to get the tires mounted up because I don't trust anybody else to mess with my one of one wheels kind of a bit picky about who messes with my uh, nice stuff just because I don't really trust too many people with things like this but these boys here are professionals and they know what they're doing this is why I only take them to perfection wheels because they're in really good hands wait wait what the what are you doing the, you're not that, what are you all good. Oh God. Can we take them back? <laughs> what that is, boy? Sheesh, that boy tooted. Golly. Is that yours? Yeah. Oh my, you squat when you pee? Yeah. No. No? no. Come on. My, my hair ain't that long, come on now. You, you part of Stunt Empire? No, no, no. <laughs> Fuck no. All right, she's done. Oh yeah, I mean, you only have like an inch to go down, right? I don't know if we Just use that head on this. That's what I call an inch. I can't tell you how many shops told me that this was impossible, that we can't get these tires on these wheels. And lo and behold, you know it, my boys, my boys at Perfection Wheels got it done. All six of them mounted up, wrapped up, strapped down, and ready to tear the streets up. If you need anything, wheels, tires, detail, lift kits, leveling kits, it doesn't matter. Apparel, hats, shirts, hit up my boys at Perfection Wheels. They're not gonna let you down. They hook you up. It's the best in the market by far. They can order you anything, get you anything in, and they'll take care of you the right way. And they don't give up. It doesn't matter what it is, they don't give up. They get it done. So go check them out. And I'm gonna go mount these fuckers because these are sick. And the hookups don't stop. Look at this. merchandise. This man, he's the man with a plan. That's not a random. You should cover your eyes. Hey. I like it. You gonna take him out or what? Make my eyes dance. 
S yeah, salmon? I like that. I like that. Appreciate it. Oh shit, you gave him both That's the hats? I'll never see any of these now. Of these. <laughs> so we did test fit the wheels and tires, but I'm not going to show you guys that. Right now we got to power wash the new axle and maybe sandblast and paint it real quick. Alright guys, today's the day we get everything painted suspension wise. Get it all done and ready to install because this afternoon we are putting this lift on. Looking a little bit rough right now, baby, but I got you, I got you. like half the things painted clear coated they're cured now they're doing pretty good i'm putting this axle back together i've got the diff cover over there it's painted and ready to go so i got this all cleaned out ready to go bolts here diff cover over there all i need to do is rtv this hold it down make sure everything's good let that rtv cure before you even add any fluid so we'll leave this dry until we have everything bolted up and installed in the truck and then we'll go ahead and put fluid in it. So, a little Tommy lapsy. Or he's over there working finally. final day is 12 o'clock noon we got no axles under the truck it is completely floating and still painting some things because some things didn't turn out the way i thought it was gonna turn out repaint that one that one's fucked up and then the sway bar link we gotta repaint that everything else is painted looking phenomenal over here this truck has to go back to the body shop tomorrow morning it was supposed to be here this or it was supposed to be there this morning but obviously you can't with no axles under the truck whatsoever mm -hmm. everything's turning out pretty good so far so let's just keep on working going a little more some, some more cinematics of things painted and done and axles and whatnot and let's see what it looks like Twelve sixteen at night we've got the front damn near bolted up and ready to go the rear is all ready to go brakes are on there just need to bleed the brakes and everything i'm pretty pumped about the carly suspension sway bars sway bar links these are the drop brackets but these bad boys are so sick just check this out if you want to set go to carlysuspension.com oh you know it's legit when it's packed packed like this Ready? Three, two, one. Bam! Look at them sway bar end links. That is insane. Greaseable fittings. I mean, just full billet aluminum. It's fucking sick. I love it. Love that. That is my favorite part about all of this. Well, not the favorite part. That's my favorite part. All right. We got all four brakes bled and looking good. 
He's adding the front diff fluid. Your drive shaft's in, your joints changed on it. Everything is done. And it's time to put the stocks back on. I call stocks, the 22s, the stocks for this truck. Uh, put the stocks back on and take this thing to the body shop so I can get my bumpers and my grill and something else. Anywho, let's get that done. test drive first things first steering wheel is crooked as hell we do need to turn the steering wheel adjust it, adjustment down there and straighten the steering wheel back up but first drive let's go to the body shop y'all just wait i promise you you're gonna shit your pants when you see these wheels and tires well guys here it is the final final time i gotta pick it up from midwest auto let me just tell you, the front bumper looks killer. They, they did install that and got it going. That looks pretty freaking good. All right, it's ready to go. So this, if you guys are wondering, this is how we open it. Quarter turn, spin it out. Set that bad boy up here. Now let's hope and pray this thing don't spit back at me. Goodness, that's gonna suck. First fill up. Oh, dude, that's wide open, dude. Oh yeah, that's gonna work out phenomenal. I like that, that's perfect. And it keeps it away from the fender flare, so it would be good on that. Dude, that is literally perfect. Let me show you guys what we did here. So underneath, I'm gonna put a 45 here, weld it all up to the factory one. Extend it with rubber hose, extend the freaking breather. So everything should be working as normal, as factory, as factory. We didn't move the fuel tank, we didn't do anything like that. So this is as factory as you can get without the big, huge door. That they come on stock. And that is a gorgeous OBS. All right, so we almost got all the body parts on. And what you're thinking probably is like, well, what other body parts do you have? You got the bumper, you've got the grill, you've got the, everything on that you took off beforehand. So, and by the way, it looks absolutely insane on the front end. <clears throat> the little touch of caribou, mm, cherry on the top. Anywho, you might be wondering what the next body part is, and it's over here in this box. And in this box, <sighs> this dirty, very, very dirty box, it's something that's not so dirty. Let me move it over here. It is a wing. Check this thing out. This thing is amazing. Oh, wrong side. Damn it. Oh, yeah. You're about to see how this looks. This is going to be cool. Anyways, it's a spoiler for your cab. I'm going to mount it up there. And honestly, I haven't seen anybody put one of these on these trucks especially the people that we know and go to truck shows with and all that fun stuff. So let's see what it looks like. I think it's just going to beef up the cab a little bit, make it slicker, if that's a word. Sheesh. Oh, Jake had to do me dirty pulling up like this. Damn, now I gotta go put my wheels on. Speaking of that, we're about to pull the truck out right now uh, and throw the wheels and tires on. First look with the lift kit, bed mounted all up, good to go. We're about to see how this looks. I'm excited, hope you guys are too. They see me rolling, they hate him. That looks like me when I drive. Well, we gotta get rid of all this plastic. This plastic's been annoying me. It's not good for the environment. Save the turtles. There we go, much better.
behind me. The loom duty is done and I am more than excited about this build. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. With the help that I've had with everybody, my dad, Midwest Auto Body, as also known as Yesterday Classics, down here in Lebanon, Missouri, they killed it and they had their hands in this build just as much as we did. Uh, they made it come to life just because, you know, of their skill sets. They took my vision and ran with it and did exactly what I wanted and exceeded my expectations. It is beautiful work. So if you guys need anything done, hit these guys up in Lebanon, Missouri. They're one of the few body shops that actually do custom shit anymore. Come check this out. First of all, we're starting off with the 26 by 14 Super Singles from Outlaw Fours that I partnered up with. They gave me a hell of a deal. And in the lips of every wheel, it is cut. Crude diesel in every lip. So on the front here, complete color match front end. I do didn't know what I wanted to do with the headlights yet, so I just left them alone. Uh, I originally painted the grill, the emblem, the bumpers, uh, but O'Reilly's messed up my paint. So I was sick of sanding and I had the entire suspension to sand down and get ready for paint because powder was gonna take too long. Uh, so I had these boys here at Yesterday Classics paint everything and it turned out phenomenal. So the grill, besides the grill bars, I did paint the grill bars. All of the rest of it turned out great. The bumper, everything turned out amazing. That's all been painted from them. And I don't know if you can look underneath the suspension. You guys seen in the video, it's all caribou because this is a monotone King Ranch. I wanted to incorporate some of the King Ranch colors into the truck. That being said, the Ford emblem and suspension is all caribou. We do have a four and a half inch lift on the front with an inch higher in the rear block from PMF suspension, dual rate springs, PMF drop brackets. In the back, 26 by eight and a quarter dually wheels, custom cut, stagecoach, and again, one of one wheels. These have never been cut in duallys yet. These have never been cut in super single duallys, and they've never been cut with somebody's name in the lip of every wheel. I do have floaters, they're on their way. What everybody's been wondering on what I've been doing to the truck and what I've been keeping a secret is the fact that it is a short bed dually. Now I don't have the, the fuel door with me, but the fuel door is about this big. And if you've seen an Illuminator, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They're huge. With these flares, it only covers three quarters of that fuel door. So you have to literally fill in, weld in the body, the, the, the bedside, weld it all in, body work it. There's been two other trucks that have the short bed dually done to it. It's no longer duty, but they have the F450 flares on it. And in my opinion, I don't, I don't like them. They, they, they have too big of a lift, too small wheels and tires, or just a setup on them I do not like. Uh, anywho, all of them have put the fuel filler on the inside of the bed. And they've got a big 12 inch lift, so I don't understand why they're trying to drag their hose up over the side of their bed to fill it up. Doesn't make any sense to me. I come up with the idea that the old hot rods use, and it's a two inch weld in bung, flush mount, fuel door. So you push in, quarter turn, it pops out to where you can grab it, spin it out, boom. I still got leftover diesel fuel right there. Yep, smells great. <coughs> Anywho, that is probably one of my favorite parts about this entire build. It is just so, you don't even see it. it it's smooth, it's awesome. Uh, another thing is, is this spoiler I found online. Got it color matched and put on there. That kind of just creates a whole entire rear end. I think that just kills it right there. Uh, third brake light, uh, color matched my tail lights, more moto fender lights. The rear bumper was painted by them as well because that was the same paint I used from a rally that was mixed wrong or it's just, just the wrong toners in it all in all. Got that all done. I don't know if you can see underneath here. Axle, all brand new Bilstein shocks. PMF lift blocks, U-bolts, caribou accents everywhere, looking phenomenal. Uh, that's pretty much all that covers this build. I don't really know if there's anything else. I know it took a long, long time, but as you can tell, being that it's a short bed aluminum duty, first of all, they're aluminum. Body work and all of that's a lot harder, a lot more expensive. Plus, this build was not easy. It's not as easy as just taking out eight bolts and putting them back in or finding a body part that the manufacturer made from factory and produced vehicles like this. This truck was never produced by Ford, <coughs> Ram, RAM. Uh, they did produce a short bed dually. And it's a lot easier to find a bed 
paint the bed the same color as the rest of the truck, take a bed off and put a bed on, adapters and dually wheels. Pretty simple to me if you ask me. Each side, each bedside has well over 25 holes that I had to measure and drill and grind out to the correct size, put nut inserts in. It was like, what, seven or eight nut inserts on each side? Yeah. Nine, nine. It was nine nut inserts on each side. Uh, <laughs> and I thought the drilling was done. I went to go put the, the inner fender liner in, yeah, two days ago, yesterday. I had to drill six more holes in the wheel well just to mount this. So what I'm saying is this is one of three in the world ever one of three in the world but the other two have f450 flares on the front none of them have this and none of them have that fuel door and none of them are this clean in my opinion but there's thousands of short bed dually rams hmm. i'm gonna show you a couple clips real quick Bit. Oh yeah, so when you dually convert a truck, you need a dually bed, and this isn't a F-250, so you can't just like slap some flares on there. So we got a whole, a whole bed, and... That being said, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys like this build just as much as I do.